Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly senior library tech, Miss Tiffany, and your MWR Community Library. Today, I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you. Let's begin. So, my first book is called I Love You, Fred by Mick Inkpen. Here we go. Hooray, hooray. I sit, I stay. the best in cl class but I am not glass. I pass my test along with the rest. When called to come I do not run away. Not often anyway. And I can fetch a stick or a ball. I come when called and that's not all. I sit, I stay, I do not run away. Hooray! Fetch! and sit and stay I understand them all those are the words I know and ball and walk and park and bed I know those too but what is Fred 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 they say they say it all the time Fred 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 all day you whisper it sometimes if only I could Fred if I can fetch and sit and stay, I'll fret. I know I will. And they will clap and say, good boy, I know they will. Fred, Fred, Fred. There is another dog upstairs where I am not allowed to go. I saw him once. I wonder if he knows what Fred is all about and why they shout it all the time. He looks like me. He has my ball. He has no smell at all. I'm chasing pigeons in the park when I'm, which I am not allowed to do. I like the way they flap about. I think they like it too. And if there are no pigeons, a duck will have to do. There is that other dog again, the dog I saw the other day, and look, he has my ball again. I wonder if he wants to play. Paddle, struggle, bubble, trouble, kick and splutter, choke and sink, Fred! I hear, but cannot think. A stream, a dash, a jump, a splash, a foot, a face. It's you. I'm safe. Oh, Fred, you whisper. Fred, Fred, Fred. A light goes on inside my head. Fred is a name. Fred is my name. And suddenly I see that I am Fred. That Fred is me. I have been fretting all the time. Fred is a name and it is mine. I whiz around. I lift my paw then jump into your arms once more. There's nothing left to do. For, there's nothing left for me to do except to run back home with you. I drag my blanket from my bed and snuggle up with you instead. I think the thought inside my head that knows that I am Fred. The end. All right, so let's see what Elephant and Piggy are up to this week. And this is Listen to My Trumpet by Mo Willems. Here we go. Gerald! Sit, sit, sit! Do not move. I have a trumpet. Do you want to listen to my trumpet? Yes, please. Here I go! Wait, that was not right. 
not right at all. That is better. Tree better. Yikes. That is not music. Quick. Piggy sounds like my Aunt Molly with the cold. And now the big finish. <laughs> finished? Finished. Whew. So, what do you think of my trumpet? Um, your trumpet is yes. Um, go on. Your trumpet is loud. And your trumpet is shiny. And you um hold your trumpet very well. And um I am waiting. Piggy, you are my friend. And I am your friend. So I will tell you the truth. Your trumpet is loud and shiny and you hold it well, but that was not music. Sorry. Gerald, you think I am trying to make music? I am trying to speak elephant. I want to sound like you. Oh, but Piggy, your accent needs work. I will teach you. Yay! Try more ick in your brick, brick. <laughs> Me and oh, elephant and piggy, they're always up to something. All right, friends, let's read one last book, and this is called Love You Always, and this is by Francis Stickley. Here we go. Little Hedgy and his mommy snuffled home beneath the trees. The leaves were rustling softly in the gentle autumn breeze. Little Hedgy shivered as the leaves came drifting down. Everything feels different now, said Hedgy with a frown. Everything is changing, Mommy said. It's nature's way. But change makes nature lovelier with every passing day. Hedgy looked around him, and he suddenly felt strange. Mommy, would you love me more, he wondered, if I changed? Would you love me more if I could dart across the leaves? What if I were like a squirrel dashing through the trees? Imagine that, said Mommy. How exciting it would seem. But I couldn't love you more if you could race the rushing stream. Would you love me more if I could fly up in the sky? What if I could flutter like a dainty dragonfly? Imagine that, said Mommy, how you sparkle, little one. But I couldn't love you more if you could soar up to the sun. Would you love me more if I could leap along a log? What if I could bounce across the lilies like a frog? Imagine that, said Mommy. What a joy to jump so high. But I couldn't love you more if you could spring 
into the sky. Would you love me more if I had smooth and silky hair? What if I were fluffy like that rabbit over there? Imagine that, said Mommy. Fur or prickles. I'd be proud, but I couldn't love you more if you were softer than a cloud. But Mommy, had you wondered, will, always, will love always last forever? Even if I change, just like the seasons or the weather. Always, Mommy said. As long as the skies are high above, there's one thing that will never change, she promised. And that's love. I'll always love you, little one. I've loved you from the start. I'll tell you every day until you know the words by heart. Always, whispered Hedgie as he curled up in his bed. Imagine that, he murmured. Just imagine, Mommy said. The end. Thank you for sharing a special story time with me. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.